Battle Royale games suck. Yo, what is up guys? My name is Ethan Sing Sings, aka the Curious Troll. Whichever one you know me by, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I want to talk about Battle Royale games. Uh, everyone's been going wild over Battle Royale games in the past, I don't know, two years now? Three years? I don't know. About two years, I think. Uh, I played Fortnite back in 2017, and that was when season one was out, and yeah, it was it was pretty cool. It was a brand new type of experience, and it, it really was amazing for its time. Uh, Fortnite, it was, uh, what is it, PUBG, you have Apex Legends, the, to name the three of the biggest, uh, Firestorm now with Battlefield Five, and there's so many of them on this. Jesus. I mean, you even have ones on mobile that have like esports tournaments like Garena, Free Fire, and uh, what is the other one? Uh, yeah, I, I don't care. I, I really don't care. Um, Battle Royale games have overstayed their welcome. In far as uh, in, in far as far as my opinion goes, uh, Battle Royale games are just gone. They're finished. They're done. I don't like them. I've never liked them. Um, I like the concept of it. I do. I really like how um, there are so many different esports leagues that are coming out of it, and a lot of people are getting money for it. A lot of people are getting jobs, payments, and a lot, a lot of pro gamers and stuff out there. They're spiraling all over the, you know, all over the world. And you know, Twitch blew up with Fortnite and stuff. So it's it's great. Right? I, okay, fine. Maybe Twitch didn't blow up with Fortnite, but it really exploded with a brand new. Uh, Demographic. Uh, kids love Fortnite. As far as I'm concerned, PUBG is the first Battle Royale that ever made. I think they invented the genre, and um, Fortnite created uh, 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 like um, a bigger demographic because now they have like the cartoon characters, and you get eliminated, and blah blah blah. So yeah, I think that it's um, it goes without say that Battle Royale games have overstayed their welcome to me. I hate FPS games. Uh, in, in general, uh, it, I, I, I suck competitively. Uh, if you have to play me in multiplayer, you probably win because I really suck. Um, well, actually, no, no, I'm not gonna say I suck. Uh, I'm pr I'm pretty decent, but I don't play I don't play competitively. I'm, I don't have the time or the money or the motivation to play four to five hundred hours of Fortnite just so that I can build a second quicker than the next person. Just so that I can win a few battle royales. That, that's stupid. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand it. I, I don't. I don't like the fact that uh, PUBG. I, it, I. I hate the fact that I have to be so stealthy. And even if you are stealthy, it's all in the luck of the draw. Like you, if you are in the wrong place at the wrong time, it sucks for you. Every freaking match, you're gonna get shot in the head. And somehow these people have freaking esports, ESL league level accuracy and I don't understand how normal people normal people being you and I the people that don't participate in e-leagues uh, esports leagues and stuff have that freaking type of time and aim and jeez you're devoting your entire life to a game it doesn't make sense I haven't won a single one of them in months it's been at least five months since I've had a battle royale uh, a, a victory royale, a victory, a ch winner, winner, chicken dinner, uh, a champion status, I, I don't know. Man. It's been at least about four to six months. Um, above that, th if you're not winning, if I'm getting eliminated the second that I see other players on the map, which sucks, just by the way, uh, I knock a few, I maybe eliminate one or two every other's third or fifth match. Um, and I've been playing this for a long time, I probably just suck. Uh, and this is probably just me ranting for it. But here's the thing, I've, I've met a lot of players online and they always say, you know what, yeah, no, I haven't got a lot of victories and stuff, but I enjoy playing it because of the Battle Pass. So when the Battle Pass first came out in Season 3, I think it was, uh, of Fortnite and stuff, and then the, like PUBG has a battle pass now, and Apex Legends has a battle pass, and that's gonna go a long way probably because it's you know based on Titanfall and it's EA and loot boxes probably probably gonna sneak their way into it. But um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, hmm. here's the thing: people aren't playing the game because they love the gameplay. They're playing the game for the cosmetic items. Which it's supposed to be a free-to-play and you're playing it for the items 
that you have to buy. And if you don't buy them, you buy the battle pass and it incentivizes you. I think it's 120 hours and it's, it's, it's huge. It's a lot to take in. Um, I think that it's, it defeats the purpose of playing a game, right? I mean, games are supposed to be fun. Um, have you played Devil May Cry 5? It's insanely fun. I just finished it yesterday, actually, and it was amazing. I took my time with it. I playing it. I love the fact that I can smack demons around. I love the fact that it has such cool freaking soundtrack. The weapons, the different playable characters, the story was cool, by the way. I, I loved how the story ended up, even though I predicted some of it. There was one or two major, major twists in there that was like, what? But yeah, I mean, the voice acting is, is amazing, except that the freaking the lines are terrible and stuff. I love it. I love that about a game. That's something you can brag about. Now you're bragging about, okay, cool, yeah, no, I got the floss dance in Fortnite that doesn't really do anything. Uh, and everyone's kind of tired of it right now. Because here's the thing, right? You do these battle, rail, uh, these battle pass things, right? You get these cosmetic items, you show it off to your friends um, for like a second. The first or second time that they see it, it loses its effect, and that's it. You worked, what, 20 hours to get that thing for like two seconds of an effect? And just, like, the game sucks right now. It's just, it's sad. It's really bad. And, um, to me, personally, I mean, um, here's the thing. If I'm not winning in a game, why would I play it? I mean, I used to have fun back when it, uh, in two years ago, back when I used to play with all my friends, um, it used to be fun, but now it's just like, uh, I don't really want to play it because it's annoying to play. Um, because I get killed, I get shot every single time if I meet another player in the game, he builds up higher than me, or he snipes me from freaking, I don't know, 200 meters away, and these guys have such impeccable skill in the game at the point where it's just annoying to play. So yeah. Every single game is the same. I think that it's all the same freaking game. It's 100 players, or 60 players, or 80 players, or whatever, however many players, Drop to the map and kill each other. Uh, your teams may vary from one, two, three, and four uh, players. Uh, it used to never be trios, but Fortnite introduced trios and Apex Legends is threes as well. So one, two, three, or four players in your team, depending on which uh, battle royale you play, and you get to kill other people. And that's it. That's it. What does the victory royale get you? Uh, bragging rights. That's it. And um, the victory royale doesn't come to normal people that play the game. Like I, I can guarantee you at least about 70% of the players that are playing Fortnite hasn't even had 10 victory royales yet. I only have three. Five. Five. And that's from season one, season three, and then like maybe two more from I don't know, the other seasons. I played season 8 until like week 5 and then I was just like, ugh, this is boring. I don't want to be working, this is work. It's literal work. It's not It's not fun anymore to play. It's like, oh my god, I need to get that shotgun kill. I need to get that pistol so I can kill that person. I need to do this so I can do that and I can do that and then I can get that little item that gives everybody like, oh wow, that's so cool. And that's it. And I, I don't agree with it. <laughs> I just, I think it's fucking stupid. <laughs> I think it's very stupid. Um, with Fortnite, I have a gripe. Why isn't the PvE free yet? Like, wasn't it supposed to be free in 2018? Then it's 2019 and it's still not free. I mean, they're... Anyway. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, I, I, I hate Battle Royales. Uh, they, they suck, in my perspective. Um, I am gonna be playing Dauntless, though. Dauntless is such a fr breath of fresh air. It's, uh... So I played the beta, and, um... I'm gonna be playing it on Twitch and I'm gonna be recording some YouTube videos for you guys. So stay tuned. Sorry, I just need a burp. Um, I'm gonna be playing some uh, videos. I'm, I'm gonna be playing some videos. I'll make some videos for you guys and you can tell me what you think of it. It's essentially, if you've played Monster Hunter, it's four um, hunters versus a monster. And it's really cool because the monsters have different things that they do. And uh, some are fast, some have fire, some have ice, some have water. I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really, really amazing. You just, you go out. It's essentially the same thing as a uh, MOBA type style game. You go into a different biome and you kill a monster. And then you um, grab all their materials. And then you make 
armor and you make weapons and then rinse and repeat. But it's it's so much cooler than it sounds, trust me. Um, I mean, Battle Royale games is literally you go on a map and you kill everyone and that's it. That's the whole problem with Battle Royale. Everything's the same. Nothing has been new. One you build, one you don't build. When you have abilities, that's it. You're still using all that shit to kill another person. That's it. Whereas with this here, you've got like strategy and skill, you've got emotes. Yeah, yeah you got your stupid ass emotes and stuff and it's just... It's all there. So if, you, if you're willing to play a new experience now, because battle royals are really, really, really outdated. Um, and if you're you know, not an FPS fan, but you're playing Battle Royales because you want to play with your friends online. I guarantee you, if you want to play a good game with your friends online, something that you makes you feel like you're actually doing something, Dauntless is the one uh, that you should try. Uh, if not Dauntless, then you can go for something paid, like maybe Final Fantasy or, uh, I don't know, Warcraft. <laughs> um, there's so many, not like, the point is with this video is that Battle Royales are very, very monotonous. Um, it's been two years that we've been playing it, and now it's just like, okay, I'm gonna drop down this map, I'm gonna die at, like, top 50 or something. And I hate those those daily challenges where it says, plays top 6 in squads. And you know your top 6 is gonna be camping from a side, if you're not necessarily good at the game, you're gonna be camping at the side, and then you're gonna make your way through, and hopefully, you're gonna make top 6. By ducking. And diving. And that's just not cool. You, you shouldn't be playing a game like that. Because you never get to test out those amazing guns that you love so much. Like, oh my god, the combat shotgun is so good. But you're never playing with it, so what's the point? Anyway, guys, if you uh, agree or disagree, uh, you can like, dislike, I don't know, give, give me a comment. Give me a, give me a comment <laughs> down below. Uh, let me know what you're thinking about it. And yeah, it's been your boy, Ethan Sing Sing, or the Jewish Pro, whichever one you want to matter. Peace!